Hi guys, welcome back to the Sunless Ray YouTube channel. I share all of my favorite sunless tanning tips here. And at the end of the video, I will share a discount code that is exclusive to this video. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end. But today I'm gonna be going over Europe's new regulations on DHA. If that is something that interests you, keep watching this video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, keep watching this video because I will get into exactly what DHA means, what is going on in Europe and what that means for your favorite self-tanning products. But quickly, just a little bit about me. My name is Jessica Ray. I am the founder of Sunless Ray and I've been a professional spray tan artist for over nine years, which is so crazy. I cannot believe it's been that long and I make my own sunless tanning products. So back into Europe regulating DHA. So this is something that I first heard about last year and it was, it was a shock to the whole sunless tanning manufacturer companies uh, spray tanners, everything in Europe because it was so random. And we manufacture our sunless tanning products. I have it right here. Our self tan mousse in Europe. So that's why I knew about it. But they said not to worry, whatever, it had, nothing's happened yet. And fast forward to April 1st is when Europe and Northern Ireland, to be exact, banned any sunless tanning product that has over 10% DHA. And DHA is what makes you tan. It's in any sunless tanning product that you use. Um, I have a bunch in front of me that you can't see, but like Loving Tan has DHA, Tanologist has DHA, Isle of Paradise. All of these brands, any sunless tanning product on the market is going to have DHA in it. And I have my notepad here because I always butcher saying this word, but it's dihydrox acetone is how you actually say DHA and keep in mind this DHA is different than what you would use when you're pregnant you want that's totally different this is not an edible DHA this is only a DHA that is specific to sunless tanning and even some hair products I have a few notes because this is a lot of information I did read as many articles as I could online about it and to be honest there's really not that much information on it I even read like the scientific study that they, that the um, scientific committee on consumer safety from Europe released and it is so scientific that it's hard for me to understand, but I did get a little bit of information from it that I will share with you. But um, yeah, there's not that much articles on it. I really had a hard time finding what even what, like if you used over 10% DHA, what was the negative side effects? I only found like two random articles. And I don't even know how accurate they are, but I will share that with you as well so that you can make the best decision possible. It is hard being, because I'm also a spray tanner, I have employees, I have a salon in California, and this regulation is also affecting spray tanning. So it is something to keep in mind as you get spray tans as well. But okay, so starting from the beginning, there hasn't been a lot of research. I think it was since like 2000 something. I didn't get the exact date, but it's been a long time, like 10 years of, there has been no research on DHA on the body. And then in Europe, they decided to do a new study to see how it is affecting the body. I have no idea why they just decided to, they tested on humans. They checked like their feces and their urine to see if DHA was in it. And then they tested it on rats as well. So that's how they kind of did their study. And like I said, the study went over my head, but I'm just gonna share the little bits and pieces that I was able to pull from it. But they found that if you stay at 10% DHA or lower, there is no bad side effects for you. In a self-tanner, that includes self-tanning mousse, lotion, self-tanning drops, um, any type of sunless tanning product and even spray tanning. There is no side effects under at 10% DHA or lower. And 10% DHA is usually, so this is where it gets confusing and I have a bunch of sunless tanning products right here because I'm gonna show you. So brands when aren't transparent with the DHA levels in their products. So it's really hard to know. You get light, medium, dark, and ultra dark and then you get an express or some people call it a rapid. That's what you see as a consumer and so you don't know the DHA levels. So for example, I have a bunch, of, like I said, a bunch of products right here. I'm gonna look at the labels with you and see if um, I could see any DHA level on here. This is the Isle of Paradise medium self tanning drops ingredient. It just says DHA made in the UK. Okay. This one, you cannot see how much DHA is in this. This is the Vita Liberta, Liberata one. Okay. This is a lotion. So you can see this one. Um, this one also just says DHA. 
no DHA level in this one. Tanologist just says DHA. And just a heads up, these brands are from the same company, same manufacturer. So what they do is they just um, rebrand it differently. So just so you know, these are made at the same place. No DHA level in here. This is the Loving Tan Mousse. It has DHA. Oh, and one more thing, Euriculose is also what you'll see in um, tanning products. That is also what can make you tan, but it takes three days to develop. So DHA happens within however long it says on this bottle to keep it on, so it's eight hours, but Euriculose takes three days. So sometimes you'll see products with both of them in there. I don't know anything about Euriculose. They haven't done any studies. That'll probably come out in the future, but just FYI. Um, yeah, no DHA level on here. This is Sun DHA. Yeah, no DHA level here. And this is the Lux Unfiltered Tanning Drops. They don't even have ingredients. I have no idea. No DHA here. And this is the Sunless Ray Mousse. So our mousse is 9% DHA. They, I did believe it was 8% DHA and then I double checked with the manufacturer because we are actually going to be um, producing more mousse and our mousse will say 9% DHA on the back of it. And when I was originally told it was 8% and now it's I guess 9%, we're still under the 10%. But yes, all of our self tan mousse products will say the DHA level on the back of the bottle so that you can make the best decision for you. So as you can see, none of these products are really telling you the DHA. Even I'm guilty of it and I'm changing as a brand to make sure that we are fully transparent. But a standard on the market is not to release how much DHA. And a lot of the reason is because people don't know what DHA is anyway but I am here to change that for you. I want you to understand what you're putting in your body. I want you to understand what DHA is. So DHA is a chemical reaction with the sugar and the amino acids on the most outer layer of your skin. So that is also why you never see a self tanner marketed as 100% organic or spray tanning is 100% organic. There is no spray tan or self tan that can ever be 100% organic because the DHA reaction is a chemical reaction. So that alone makes it forever non-organic. So just keep that in mind. Our Sunless Ray Self Tan Mousse has organic eco-certified DHA and that is as organic as a self tanner can be. So just keep that in mind as well when you're looking at organic products. A lot of people use the term organic because it is a buzzword, but just know it is not organic, it is organic based. So when you're looking at the products, say you're gonna buy a self tanner, you're at Ulta, Sephora, and you're looking at shades and you see all of these beautiful products, how do you know the DHA level if the brand doesn't tell you? So most common, so I'm just gonna grab this one, a lotion is one to 3% DHA. That is a gradual tan. That is the, if you see the word gradual, it is most likely between a one and 3% DHA level. If you see a light, it is between, I would say a five and like an 8%. If you see a medium, it is between like an eight and a 10%. And a dark, I would say is 10% to a 12%. And ultra dark is a 12% to a 14%. And with express or rapid, that can be between 12% and 14%. And an express and rapid means you rinse the self tanner or a spray tan off faster than you would a standard tan. So that is two hours for a light, three hours for a medium and four hours for a dark. And that is kind of like the standard for it. I know that's a wide range, but a lot of brands aren't being transparent about it. Even spray tan solution companies don't really talk about it as much. So this is just what I've learned from producing my own self tanning products. I hope that helps you understand DHA and kind of like what these terms mean. But back to the study, I'm going to link it in the, in the section below. So you can actually read the article if you want to, that was published by the scientific committee in Europe. It's there for you. You can make your best decision and I'll link a few articles as well that I read to come to this conclusion that I'm talking to you about as well. So you can make the best educated decision for yourself. A few of the articles did say why they banned DHA that is higher than 10%. And they did say because it was getting into the bloodstream, they first initially thought that it doesn't, it just stays on the outer layer of your skin, but they did find that it does get into your bloodstream, which can have negative side effects. That is literally all it says online. Um, 
I did email the scientific committee to get more information. I haven't heard back yet. When I do, I will definitely update you on here. But so that is just something to be aware of. And what I did last week is I was informing our spray tan clients. I still spray tan in Austin, Texas. I do mobiles and then I have an, um, an employee in Georgetown and I have an employee in California, our flagship lo location in Orange County. And so I told everyone to start you know, telling people about these new European regulations and we use rapid, which is higher than the 10%. And so I was like, start telling people. And then once we run out of rapid solution, we'll just discontinue it. Well, we started telling people last week, like I said, and everyone still wants rapid. <laughs> they were upset that we were getting rid of it. They just didn't take to it very well. So what I am going to do, what Sunless Ray is going to do is our self candy products will always stay under the 10% DHA. We will not be going over it. But with our spray tan side, we are going to be educating our clients and then the decision is ultimately up to them. We will do our best, but I mean, if the client wants it, we have to provide it. And it is not going against anything in the US or against the FDA or anything like that. So we, we are following that regulation. And that was surprising. I thought more people would be like not wanting to do it, but everyone still wants it. We did have a few clients say they didn't and we are not here to judge if you make that decision or another spray tan artist if you go to them whatever i mean you could still do whatever you want people still smoke cigarettes people still drink alcohol i mean we do things every day that we are putting ourselves at risk for but i just think it's so important to be educated and make the best educated decision for yourself i did read that these regulations are only in europe and northern ireland uk is not even following it yet so this is brand new information. I want to be someone that you can trust to be transparent and give you the best information possible so that you know what's going on in your body and you know what's going on with the tanning world because it's not something you would probably normally be searching in your day-to-day -day life like I would. But I think that pretty much covers it. I know it was a lot of information and I'm. it may still be confusing. I live in this space, so it's a little bit different for me, but I'm doing my best to explain it to you as natural as possible. But the biggest takeaways from this is DHA is what makes you tan. It's in every tanner that you use on the market, spray tan everything. Europe said anything above 10% DHA, you are putting yourself at risk for it getting into your bloodstream and having negative side effects. Over 10% is going to be dark self tanner, spray tan, ultra dark spray tan, self tan, and then a rapid. Or what some people call it an express, means you rinse off faster. So those are what you need to know so that you can make the best decision for your body. And yeah, I just hope that gives you more insight into what's going on in the tanning world. If you purchase from Europe or anything like that, you will see their self tanners are already off the market. On April 1st, they had to discontinue all of those products. The UK may be following, I'm not quite sure. Like I said, it's really hard to get information on this, but you will see most likely ultra dark getting off of the market and for sure rapid. A dark can still hit the criteria of 10%, so it's hard to exactly say on that, but for sure ultra dark and rapids are going to be gone in the European market. And a good rule of thumb for you, if you aren't sure on the DHA, the product's not saying it, just stay away from ultra dark and rapids. And I do think this happened because in Europe, women like to be really dark, way darker than Americans do, and they sleep in rapids all the time. So on the bottle, it'll say max four hours, but women will sleep in it all the time. It's very common. And so I think that's what kind of encouraged the research because it's so much more popular there. And I would say even tanners in general are just so, so much more popular on there. If you're on TikTok, like, you'll see these girls promoting like a self tan and they're most likely from Europe. And yeah, so I think that's what started the trend on that. So that wraps up everything I have to say about the European regulation. You can follow me on Instagram at Jess Ray Buck or at Sunless Ray. My website is sunlessray.com and the exclusive code that I mentioned earlier is going to be EU10. So E as an elephant, U as umbrella, and then the number 10. And then I'll know you watch this video and you will get 10% off of anything on sunlessray.com. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. That means a lot to me. And please comment below with any of your fake tan questions, spray tan, self tan, whatever it may be. I'm here to help you and give you the correct answers. I will do the research so that you don't have to. And I release a new episode every Tuesday. So make sure to stay tuned for the next one.